Well, the state has seen record COVID-19 cases and Governor Jay Inslee blames not enough people wearing masks. And so he is going to require businesses to refuse service to customers who don't wear masks. It's a legal requirement he says will go into effect next Tuesday. Now, for those who say this is not a problem, uh, anyone who works in a hospital will tell you that this is not a moment of business as usual. Frontline workers have these concerns. I remember talking to a grocery store clerk in Tri-Cities telling me about that he feels that he every day he goes to work, there's risk. So is the public losing faith in Governor Inslee's calls for social distancing and the need to wear masks? King 5's Drew Mickelson asked the governor that very question today in an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview in Olympia. Drew, good evening. Good evening, Joyce. The governor knows not everyone is going to like this new rule, but what else is new for the governor? After all, he's had death threats come into his office since the COVID crisis began earlier this winter. In addition to all these critics, there were some who actually uh, heckled him out of having an outdoor press conference earlier this week. But he says, regardless of what people say, he is convinced that being careful will save lives. If we mask up, we can open up. On Tuesday, you were in the Tri-Cities. You got, you got heckled. All, all, of these, all of these leaders, all of these leaders, have agreed with me that this is something that works. Now, okay, we're going to go inside. Are you worried about people losing faith in masks, social distancing? That was definitely what we saw on Tuesday, I think. No, I'm not. There's actually good news from Tri-Cities. Governor Jay Inslee says despite the interruption, he says mask usage is actually on the increase and is helping slow the climbing case numbers. We're showing some evidence now that this may have already been helping us in Yakima, for instance, where we've increased the mask usage and we think there's some evidence that we may have started to slow down the spread of the virus. So for a lot of reasons, there's good news in Tri-Cities a couple people yelling are not going to stop the good news of the smart people in Tri-Cities that are masking up, and I'm glad about that. And while he is ramping up efforts to get more people to wear masks, the governor believes most have been doing it all along. We got one chance to beat this virus. It's right now, and we got one way to beat this virus, and that's to mask up. If we mask up, we'll eventually open up and we'll save lives in this state. The governor believes that more people are actually getting on the mask bandwagon, noting that President Donald Trump has even been quoted as saying that he will wear masks in certain situations. At 6.30, we're going to have more of our one-on-one -on -one interview with the governor, and you'll find out why he says history suggests that this upcoming 4th of July weekend could be a dangerous one for the state. Live in Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News. All right, Drew, thank you. Today's numbers show 716 new COVID-19 cases in Washington state. Keeps going up this week every day. Also three more deaths. Washington has more than 34,000 overall cases and more than 1,300 deaths. 585,000 people have been tested. Of those, 5.8% have tested positive. Well, for the second week in a row, we have seen an increase in new unemployment claims here in Washington. So here are this morning's numbers. Last week, 31,911 new claims were filed. That's up almost 8% from the week before. While unemployment numbers are down significantly from the start of the pandemic, they are still very high. Last week's claims are up 473% from the same week in 2019. And nationally, some promising unemployment news. Five million people were added to the payrolls last month. That pushed the unemployment rate from 15% down to 11%. But 15 million people who had jobs back in February are still out of work. Analysts say that where the economy goes from here all depends on continued response to the coronavirus pandemic. We don't get the disease under control. The economy can't return to normal because people don't feel safe. Today's jobs data does not take into account states that are having to roll back reopening because of coronavirus spikes. Well, the U.S. saw another single day high in new COVID-19 cases, over 50,000 for the first time. Many states across the country are either freezing or rolling back reopening plans. 
At least 45 states report the rate of infection higher than it was just a week ago. On Capitol Hill, congressional hearings are focused now on supplies and a potential vaccine. Meanwhile, the president continues to downplay the spike in infections. This is all complicated by the fact that we have 50 states going in 50 direct different directions, uh, we need a national plan, a national response for this national crisis. President Trump is claiming his administration has saved millions of lives. He blames China for the spread of the disease. With new mandatory mask orders, what is the right and the wrong way to wear one? We know that you need to cover your nose and your mouth, but is it possible to wear it inside out? Our Verify team gets the answers. The goal of the Verify team is to separate fact from fiction. And when it comes to the coronavirus, there's a lot of misinformation and confusion out there. Take these Facebook and social media videos claiming there are two ways to wear a medical face mask to protect yourself against the coronavirus. They claim if you're sick, wear the face mask blue side out so you don't spread the virus. And if you're healthy, wear the white side out to viruses from coming in. So we're verifying, is there a correct way to wear a traditional blue and white medical face mask? Our sources for this one, the World Health Organization and Prime Medical, a global medical products manufacturer. In this WHO video, Dr. April Baller explains the inside of the mask is usually the white side. And this infographic says, ensure the color side faces outward. We also checked with Pride Medical and it says medical masks are made to be fluid resistant with the waterproof layer on the outside to minimize the amount of fluid that could transfer from the outer layers through the inner layers as a result of a splash or spray. So we can verify, yes, medical masks should be worn with the color side facing out. 